Hi everyone, my name is Kendra and welcome back to my channel. Today's yoga class is yoga for the desk worker. If you've been sitting all day at a desk or just sitting all day in general, then this yoga class is exactly what you need to add into your day. So whenever you're ready, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, let's start in a standing position. Come towards the top of your mat. Allow the feet to stack underneath the hips. Arms lengthen down towards your torso. Lengthen the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Allow the knees to be soft here. The belly slightly and gently draws inward can allow the eyes to close or the gaze to be soft. Giving yourself a moment to arrive onto your mat, into this room, and into your body. Noticing the feet on the floor. And notice your breath, the natural rising of the chest and the belly. Noticing the breath as you inhale and exhale, the natural rising and falling of the belly and chest. Take a nice big inhale through the nose, allow the belly to expand outward, the rib cage, the chest, and the back body. And as you exhale, exhale through the mouth, let it go. Inhale fully through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale nice and big through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good, as you inhale, reach the arms up overhead. The palms are facing one another. Soften the tops of the shoulders. Allow the neck to be nice and soft here. Keep grounding into the feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, curving the torso towards the right. So imagine that you're going up and over a ball on that right side, so you're not collapsing into the right side body. Keep grounding into the feet, especially the right foot. A slight core engagement here. Take a couple breaths. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, curving towards the left. And again, imagine that there's a ball on the left side body. You're going up and over that imaginary ball. Press deeply into the left foot. Keep the left side body nice and long. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale back through center. Exhale, release the arms down. Good. As you exhale, release the chin down towards the chest. Move the chin from left to right as if you're saying no. Pausing at center. Inhale, roll the right ear towards the right shoulder. Opening up the left side of the neck. Exhale, release the chin down towards the chest. Inhale, left ear towards left shoulder. Feeling the right side of the neck. Exhale, release the chin down towards the chest. 
Inhale, bring the neck back to neutral. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Take the palms together if you can, or the palms can be separated. Be mindful of the elbows and don't lock the elbows in this position. Good, keep grounding into the feet. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Take the gaze to look up towards the ceiling and slowly move the arms away from the low back. Opening up the chest. Take two deep full breaths. A small core engagement here. Exhale, come back through center, release the hands. Shake out the arms. If you're not already there, come back towards the top of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, come up halfway flat back. The hands are on the front of the shins or on top of the thighs. Lengthen the spine. A small bend in the knees, allowing the sitting bones to move back towards the back wall, the crown of the head lengthening towards the front. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees as much as you have to to ground the hands onto the mat. Step the right foot back and then the left foot back. Find your plank for one moment, stacking the palms underneath the shoulders, pressing back through both heels, legs are straight or release the knees down onto the mat. Imagine that you're pressing the floor away from, the, away from your body, so press the palms into the ground. Feel the shoulder blades broaden on the back. The gaze is looking down towards the floor. Back of the neck is nice and long. Focus on your breath here. Good, take two more breaths. Exhale, pike your hips, slowly come into your downward facing dog. When you get there, you can pedal the feet, releasing one heel and lifting the other, and vice versa, going back and forth, nice and slow. Pausing at center, grounding into the feet. The heels are either grounded on the mat, or if you're like me, the heels lift off of the mat. Allow the knees to have a slight bend in them for a moment so that you can invite the top of the chest towards the top of the thighs, the sitting bones moving up towards the ceiling. Soften the back of the neck, ground deeply into the palms, especially the pointer finger and the thumbs. There's space in between the arms and the ears. And then if you like, you can straighten the legs. For me, I have to keep a slight bend in the knees because I have very tight calves and hamstrings. So find what works best for your body. And then when you find that foundation in your posture, again, come back to your breath. Inhaling fully and exhaling fully. Inhale, look in between the hands. Step the right foot forward. Grounding into the right foot, press back through the left foot. Left leg is straight. Inhale, carry the arms up overhead. Lengthen the torso. Inhale, find length. Exhale, twisting towards the right. Take the left arm forward, right arm back. Place the left hand on the outside of the right thigh, the right hand on the back of the left thigh. Keep gently twisting towards the right. Find your balance, keep bending into that right knee. Good, as you inhale, come back through center, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, release the hands onto the mat, ground the palms, step the right foot back to meet the left, 
Exhale, pike your hips, downward dog. Either find some small movements in downward dog or pause right when you get there. Or you can come down into child's pose and pause there. This is your practice, your body. Find what feels best for you today and in this moment. Take two breaths. Inhale, look in between the hands, step the left foot forward. Bending into the left knee, ground the left foot onto the mat. Press back through the right heel, right leg is straight. Gather your strength as you inhale, carry the torso all the way up, reach the arms up overhead. So the feet are hip width apart. Make sure that you don't have the right foot directly behind the left foot. It'll make it very hard to balance. So you still want the feet to be hip width apart. As you inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, twisting towards the left. Take the right arm forward, left arm back. Keep bending into that left knee. Good. Take a couple of breaths here. Place the right hand on the outside of the left thigh, left hand on the back of the right thigh. Inhale, come back through center, reach the arms back up overhead. Exhale, ground the palms onto the mat. Bend the right knee, step the right foot forward to meet the left. Find your forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees as much as you have to. Good. Inhale, come all the way up into standing. Reach the arms up overhead. Palms come together. Exhale, take the palms together in front of the chest. Inhale, reach the arms back up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, take the torso over the legs. Bending the knees as much as you have to, ground the hands onto the mat. Step the right foot back, step the left foot back. Release both knees onto the mat, untuck your toes. Slowly exhale, bend the elbows, release the front body all the way down onto the mat. When you get onto the floor, take the palms, ground the palms onto the mat, close to underneath the shoulders. Hug the elbows in towards the torso. Ground the tops of the feet onto the mat and the front of the pelvis onto the mat. Gently hug the belly button in towards the spine, a small core engagement here. And as you inhale, lift the forehead and the chest off of the mat. Imagine that the crown of the head is lengthening forward and then up. So the whole spine is lengthening. Good. Inhale. Find length. Exhale. Keep grounding the tops of the feet and the front of the pelvis onto the floor. Staying right here, the back body is nice and engaged. You could even lift the hands off of the mat and stay in the exact same position. So the hands aren't really pushing you up. You're using your extension of the spine, lengthening your back body's nice and strong. Couple more breaths. Exhale, release down. Bend the knees and sway the legs from left to right, going back and forth. Exhale, release the legs down. Good, now take the arms, straighten the arms, palms ground on the mat. Grounding the tops of the feet onto the floor, front of the pelvis. Once again, you inhale, lengthen, Find length in the spine, lift the forehead and the chest off the mat. Stay right here or begin to lift the tops of the feet off of the floor. Staying right here or lift the hands off of the floor. So now we're in this airplane position. 
find your expression of the posture. Take two more breaths. Exhale, release all the way down. Ground the palms onto the floor underneath the shoulders. Bend the knees and sway the legs from left to right. Great. Release the legs onto the mat. Tuck your toes. Ground deeply into the palms. Hug the elbows in towards the torso. Press yourself up onto the hands and knees. When you get there, come onto your hands and knees in the tabletop position. So allow the palms to be stacked underneath your shoulders, the knees stacked underneath the hips. As you inhale, allow the sitting bones to rise, belly drops, and chest and head lengthen forward. Exhale, tuck the sitting bones round the spine and move the chin down towards the chest. Inhale, lengthen, sit bones rise, belly drops, chest and head lengthen forward. Exhale, sitting bones tuck, round the spine, tuck the chin towards the chest. Now keep going back and forth. Follow your breath. And notice your body going through these movements. If it feels right for you to pause in your cat position, then feel free to pause there. If you want to pause in your cow position, then pause there. Notice your body and see if you can find what you need in this moment. Good, pausing in a neutral spine. Come down and sit onto your glutes. Cross the right leg in front of the left. Inhale, carry the arms up overhead. Find length in the spine, grounding into both sitting bones. Exhale, take the torso over the legs. Ground the palms onto the floor. Staying right here or releasing down onto the forearms. Take three breaths. Grounding into the palms, and as you inhale, carry yourself all the way back up through center. Take the left fingertips onto the mat beside you. Inhale, carry the right arm up overhead. Exhale, curving the torso towards the left. Ground the left palm onto the floor. Again, you're keeping space in between the right ear and the right arm. Grounding back through that right sitting bone. Inhale, open up the chest towards the ceiling. Take the gaze to look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, gaze looks down towards the floor. Chest moves down towards the floor. Ground the right hand towards the left hand. Inhale, come back up. Open up the chest. Gaze looks up towards the ceiling. Exhale, grounding the right hand down towards the left. Inhale, come back up, opening up the chest. Exhale, right hand grounds onto the mat or reaches down towards the left hand. Pause here. Walk the hands back through center and slowly come back all the way up. Great, cross the left leg in front of the right. 
Inhale, find length. Arms come up overhead. Exhale, take the torso over the legs. Ground the hands onto the floor. Staying here or releasing the forearms down onto the mat. Noticing this side compared to the other, it may feel different for you. Simply noticing without any judgment towards yourself. Focus on taking three more breaths. Grounding into the palms, inhale, carry yourself all the way back up through center. Take the right fingertips onto the mat beside you. Inhale, carry the left arm up overhead. Exhale, curving the torso towards the right, ground the right hand back onto the mat. Next time you inhale, open up the chest towards the ceiling. Gaze looks up towards the ceiling. Exhale, gaze looks down towards the mat. Left hand moves towards the right hand or grounding the palm right, toward, uh, right beside the right hand. Inhale, open up the chest towards the ceiling. Take the gaze, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left hand reaches down towards the mat. Inhale, left arm back up towards the ceiling. Chest opens up towards the ceiling. Exhale, ground the left hand onto the mat. Slowly walk the hands back out in front of you, back through center. Inhale, carry yourself all the way back up. When you get there, slowly come onto your back. Hug the knees in towards the chest when you get there. I'll rock from side to side, giving yourself a low back massage. Release the left leg all the way down onto the mat. Bend the right knee. Clasp the hands on top of the right shin. Allow the feet to be flexed. Inhale. Exhale. Gently draw the right knee in towards the torso. Two more breaths, filling the belly, the chest, side body, and back body as you inhale. And as you exhale, feeling everything gently draw down. Exhale, slowly release the right leg all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, bend the left knee. Clasp the hands on top of the left shin, keeping the feet flexed. Inhale. And exhale, drawing the left knee in towards the torso.
two more breaths. Next time you exhale, slowly release the left leg all the way down onto the floor. Take the arms down towards your torso, turn the palms to face up towards the ceiling. Allow the eyes to close or the gaze to be soft. Allow any control of the breath to gently fade away. The body breathes itself. Give your body a big thank you for all the movement that it just did today in our practice. And take as much time as you need here in your Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.